Hey guys, so real quick before this review starts, I just wanna say that if you're watching this video in the month of March 2017, you can actually enter for a chance to win this ukulele. So go ahead and click this little link that pops up right here, and that'll take you to our site to find out more about our site member challenge for the month of March for a chance to win this ukulele. All right guys, I hope you enjoy the review. Hey guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com. Today we're bringing you another ukulele review, this time on the Luna Pineapple ukulele. So this is a soprano size and it's the tattoo model. So it's a mahogany ukulele, but it's got that cool little tribal tattoo on it. So this review has a bit of a twist because it's going to be titled the Amazon Challenge. So basically, I bought this ukulele off Amazon based off of the great reviews that it had, and I'm gonna give you guys an honest feedback from a professional musician standpoint. So is this ukulele great? Can you buy one off Amazon? Is it going to meet all your expectations? We're gonna answer all those questions, and I'm gonna give you guys my take on this uk. So let's go ahead and start off talking about the price. This is 65 US dollars. And what does it come with? Well, it comes with the uke plus a gig bag, which we're gonna look at in a sec, and a pitch pipe tuner. So let's talk about the uke first. Off the bat, the first thing that I noticed is it looks awesome. As you can see in the video, this is a beautiful looking ukulele. It's just got such a cool design. Um, there's virtually no nicks or knacks on it. There's just like a couple little specks of imperfection, but for the most part, it came out looking just like the pictures. Like uh, they get an A plus in that book. It is just an awesome, awesome looking ukulele. Just a beautiful uke. Now let's take a look at the gig bag. So they actually surprised me on the quality of this gig bag. I thought it would be like a dust cover, you know, something super duper thin, but it actually has some padding, um, which is surprising for the price of this uke. And it's got a zipper that functions perfectly. So you can stick the uke inside there, and the best part is that it's got another pocket right here where you can put all of your accessories in. So the gig bag is great. It's got a handle up here, and you can do a little backpack thing on the back. So I'm really happy with the, the gig bag. It's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Now this little pitch pipe that it comes with, uh, to be honest, it's a bit of a novelty. You know, it's... The way these work, let's let's talk about how they work if you don't know. It's got four little holes that you can blow into and it produces the sound of your four strings. So instead of using a tuner, you would use this. Now here's the problem that I have with this. If you're an absolute beginner, you haven't developed or trained your ear to recognize pitches very well. So it's gonna be very hard and confusing and a bit frustrating to use for tuning. So I would actually recommend if you're a beginner or anybody Honestly, this to just to buy a clip-on tuner. I use the Snarks. They're awesome. They're cheap and they're super accurate and they're built to last. So I would just buy a regular tuner. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a listen to how this ukulele sounds. And then we're going to come back and talk about the playability and what I think about the tone. All right guys, so now that we've heard the ukulele in action, let's talk a little bit about the tone. I think it's a decent sounding ukulele. And again, we're comparing this to the price range of 50 to $100. So other ukes that you can buy that are in that price range. I think it's a pretty decent sounding ukulele. It's definitely sounds like that traditional uke, but there also are a couple gripes that I have with this ukulele and they fall into the setup category. So. Typically, when you purchase a uke that's $500 or under, they normally do not come with a setup. So the issue is 
playability wise. So this ukulele has a little bit too much play on the strings. So there's just too much movement. So the action needs to be adjusted a little bit with the ukulele to correct that issue. So for example, when you're strumming a chord and you want to add like vibrato, it's just going to be hard to do because it's not supposed to be like that. It's not supposed to have that much play. So that needs to be fixed. The other issue that I have is intonation. So intonation means that when we play notes here, they should be in the same pitch as we continue up the neck. The problem with this ukulele is that as you go higher up, the pitch starts to go sharp. So imagine somebody singing and they just can continually are off pitch as they sing notes like they're just a little bit off they're pitchy is what they is the term they get labeled so that's the problem with this ukulele it's that as you move up the neck the notes go sharp so it just sounds off when you're playing throughout the neck um, and again guys this falls into the setup category these are things that could be corrected but the reason I bring it up is that for this price range, I have played other ukuleles that do not have this issue. So I actually reviewed the Makala MKS. It's a $50 ukulele. I've played tons of models from Makala, and none of them have had these issues that I've noticed on the Luna. So another question that comes to my mind is my friend Steven has this same ukulele. Now he bought his well over five years ago, but it's the same model. You guys can click this link and watch him play an Ed Sheeran tune. It's a very complex tune, uh, but a really, really cool sounding song where he plays throughout the neck. And I've played his ukulele before. And the two things I noticed are it didn't have these issues that I noticed with this one. And the second was that it sounds better, but he never had a setup done. So it leads me to the question of, does Luna have a quality control issue? So who do I recommend this ukulele for? I think this is a great ukulele if you have a collection already. So if you have three or four ukes and you're looking to buy one just for fun that you play occasionally, this is a great uke to buy. If you are an absolute beginner, I would skip this ukulele. There are better options out there for the $50 to $100 price range, like the Makala MKS. Again, I've played tons of Makala MKSs and I've never noticed a quality control issue. They all play great. They all have a decent factory setup and I have not noticed any of the intonation issues. Now they don't look as cool as this ukulele, but I do want to stress that playability and tone is more important than looks. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review. It's just a short, quick little review. It's a fun little concept for the Amazon challenge. We're going to be doing more of these in the future, but let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out rockclass101.com for tons of ukulele lessons. All right, guys, thank you.